Welcome to comparative study of ECS 6, 7, 8 and 9 of IRPWM. Let's discuss. Correction slip number 6 was issued by Railway Board on 16th March 2022. Correction slip number 6 is related with para number 201 which deals with classification of line on broad gauge. Earlier, Broad gauge line have been classified into the six group that were A, B, C, D, D special and E. On implementation of ACS 6, group D special, D and E have been merged and a single group D have been made and only condition is described to classify the roots of the group D that is all routes having a speed up to 110 kmph and instructed to read to read D special and E as group D wherever it appears in the IRPWM. After issue of CS6, ACS7, 7, 8 and 9 have been issued in April 2022, June 2022 and August 2022 respectively. One important thing to remember that ACS 7 is revised completely by ACS 9. So in this video, we will read latest data with ACS 9. But let's first discuss ACS 8 and then we will discuss ACS 9. The affected para by ACS 8 are para 401D, 4053 and 425 that is 425 para. But para 4041 sub para D and para 405 sub para 3 is again revised by the ACS 10 which we will discuss in the next video. Let's know what are the changes done by ACS 8 in para 425. Previously, para 425 said that the bear of rail of curve having radius of 600 meter or less shall be recorded periodically as specified by the zonal railway. But now, no need of zonal railway specification schedule of inspection. Now, this inspection will be done with the schedule inspection of the curve which is already described in the table 1b of para 106 and 109. Other contents of uh, in this para is unaffected. As discussed earlier, ACS 7 was superseded by ACS 9. Hence, we will le learn ACS 9 instead of ACS 7 so that latest specification may be encountered. This is the snapshot of para 1202 which is related with the works required CRS sanctions. Previously, before implementation of AC, there were four sub para under uh, para number 1202 that is 1202 which is now re reduced to 3 para. So let's discuss the new paras. The para sub para number 1. The language of sub para 1 have been changed but soul of sub para 1 is still the same. If you read previous statement you will find that CRS is not required for the execution of works affecting running of trains carrying passengers and for temporary arrangements necessary for uh, carrying out in case of emergency which is already given in the new revised para that is uh, given by the ACS 9. Sub para 2 of 1202. The sanction of Commissioner of Railway Safety shall be obtained for the opening of the following works if they form part of or are directly connected with. A railway used for the public garage of the passenger and have been constructed subsequent to the giving of a report to the commissioner namely 
and these have been given the uh, these are the four items opening of additional line of railway and deviation line second opening of a station junction and level crossing third remodeling of yards and rebuilding of major and important bridges and d any alteration or reconstruction material affecting the structural character of any work here you uh, can see previously in the uh, acs 6 a new item has been added that the introduction of electric track which is now removed by the acs 9 one more thing you can see here any alteration or reconstruction material affecting the structural character of the work in the previous acs reconstruction material or a structural character of material has been defined in the previous acs that were this the following uh, work shall be considered as a material affecting which is now removed by the acs 9 from the para 2 and a note has been added at the end of the sub para 2 that is decision whether a competent work uh, is materially affecting the structural character or not will be taken by the chief engineer construction for the construction work and by chief track engineer or chief bridge engineer for the open line work and the second further any work which is in the opinion of the city or cbe is affecting the safety of the running line will be processed for the sanction of commission of the railway safety and the third para sanction of crs will not be required for the execution of work in respect of below in this para it has been clarified that CRS is not required for the following works, and these works are constructions, rebuilding, modification, and a strengthening of FOV and ROB. Construction, rebuilding, regirding, and a strengthening of minor bridges, regirding, and a strengthening of all existing bridges other than minor bridges, elimination of manned level crossing. Upgradation of level crossing, including interlocking outside the station limits. Introduction of electric traction. Works related to dedicated freight corridor. Thank you for watching this video. Let's meet with a new video.